guys, Token Vaping, employed with Pacific Vapes. Um, today's uh, flavor review is on a company that I had the pleasure of reaching out to on Instagram. Um, they're on Instagram and Facebook, and the guy, I believe he was the owner, was very, very uh, friendly, very open, very accommodating, was very into wanting to have a review done uh, on his line, uh, and I can definitely see why. The name of the company is called, uh, it's MN Moonshine. Um, MN basically um, is for Minnesota, so it's Minnesota Moonshine. Um, they, they operate out of a certified lab um, in St. Paul, Minnesota. Um, they basically, they do have a clean room. Um, they do follow uh, what would be considered guidelines or um, outlines set by what the FDA might put forward if this was approved by them, um, just to ensure that, again, like a lot of other companies, you know, if they ever decide to say, hey, we're going to go ahead and allow this, um, which would be a really cool thing. They're already ahead of the game because everything's already following that. So it's definitely, you know, high quality, high grade, top, top of the line. Um, ingredients are, are local sourced, uh, pharmaceutical grade nicotine, everything else like that. It's diacetyl free as well um, because there is a lot of issues going on with what people think um, diacetyl is or isn't um, and how much is actually in juices. Um, most companies nowadays are doing everything they can to ensure that they are diacetyl free. Um, but, you know, I mean, to say that something's not going to have even a minute trace they're, everybody's doing the best that they can to ensure that, um, but it has yet to be determined, you know, that even minute traces cause any harmful effects. I mean, they really still can't um, argue anything as specifics yet because there still isn't any proof that this is worse than smoking. It's not. Just going by the ingredients, going by um, lab, uh, lab specialists, mixologists, um, you know, people that work with chemicals, things like that. I mean, they're just, it's not there. I know they're going to keep digging. I know they're going to keep trying. That's why we got to stay together. We got to support the vaping community as a whole to ensure that you know that this is a, a safer alternative to smoking. That it is a better choice. Um, but the company itself, as I stated, is Minnesota Moonshine. This is their bottle. The labels are actually really cool. I believe they did undergo a bit of a change and an update. Um, it was really a, a good choice because these are really cool labels. One thing that they do on their labels that are different than a lot of other companies, which I thought was really cool. Most put, you know, the, the, the typical, you know, the standard, the name, uh, name of the flavor, nick level, things like that. Um, these guys go a little bit further with that. Um, they also put the mix ratio, as you can see right there, it is a 90-10. And they also have a bit more of a little, a little bit more information here, just as far as, you know, Facebook, Instagram, uh, logo here basically for their nicotine um, and then that it was their establishment date year it's uh, in 2014 um, it also has their links for their Instagram and their Facebook it's under um, MN Moonshine or Moonshine Mafia um, this is the Cereal Boss this is actually my favorite flavor that I've tried with them for, uh, so far and also right here it says that this product is diacetyl free. It is an amber bottle, which does help with the steeping um, so that it contains um, all the full flavors of everything um, and to ensure that you're getting the most out of this liquid as well. These are safety sealed. Now, I did not have a chance to try the Purple Dragon. Um, this is a sweet tart, bright and easy, a light grape with a bubbly fruit blend. But I didn't want to show that they are safety sealed as I've stated in previous videos, you know, a lot of companies are switching over to that now to ensure the quality and safety of their, of their products. So again, real quick, any bottle that you order, whether it's a 15 mil, 30 mil, anything, if it looks tampered with or it looks open, do not vape it at all. Do not. Um, just to be um, on the safe side. Um, contact the company. Most of them all have either a contact link directly on their website if they have one. If they don't have a website, they have a way for you to contact them. Um, definitely contact them. Let them know. They will do everything they can to rectify that and to, to make sure that you're getting what you deserve out of that. It does have the child safety cap. Um, warning ingredients labels. As I stated, it does have their, uh, their mix ratio. It has the name, size of the bottle, their nicotine content as well. So the bottles themselves are actually very, very informative. Um, I do apologize about the lighting on this. It is a little, it is a little off. Um, 
they are in a certified lab. They do offer on their website. It's under vape-easy.com. Um, you can purchase their their fluids directly off their site. Um, they do offer them in two bottle sizes, a 30 mil for $21.95 and a 120 mil for $59.95. So very reasonably priced for either size, um, but you are getting a decent amount of juice for that price. So that way you're not feel, you don't feel like you're running out of it really quick. So you have to keep buying a 15 mil, keep buying a bottle, things like that. So they're trying to accommodate uh, fair pricing for bigger bottles so that you have more on hand so you don't feel like you're going through it so quick so that you're being charged more and more each time. Um, they do offer four nicotine levels, a zero, a two, a four, and a six. Now, as a few, as there are a few other companies that are going this route, so it is starting to become a little bit more, um, I don't want to say the norm because most are still sticking with the 036 and they're starting to come out with a 1.5 um, and things like that. But there are a few more companies that are popping up that are doing the by twos, you know, the zero, the two, the four, and the six, just because it seems like there isn't as much of a gap jump between them. Um, so that if you are trying to wean yourself off of nicotine, it definitely is a little bit easier uh, to adjust in the different levels without having to go too, too much of a jump. Now, this is where my downside was on this. I normally vape a three. Um, I, when uh, Eminem Moonshine basically reached out to me and told me that they would allow me to do uh, the privilege of doing this review video, they asked me what nick level I wanted. I mistakenly said a four, um, thinking that because it's just one above a three that it wouldn't be as big of a deal. Um, I apologize, this is, nope, that's not much better. I do apologize, folks. I'm trying to ensure that, you know, there isn't as much of a of a glare, but I don't want it to be too dark. Um, my apologies for that. I mistakenly went with a 4, thinking that it was going to be, you know, maybe just a little bit stronger and that I would be okay with that and that it would work from there. Um, however, a four just me just was ended up being a little bit stronger than what I'm um, capable of handling at, in a long period of time because I'm so used to vaping a three. I honestly should have gone with a two. Um, so that was completely my fault and my error. And to Eminem Moonshine, I do apologize for that. Now, that's not to say that the, that it was an an unenjoyable or a bad vape. Um, what I went ahead and did is that I, I did have some Cloud Booster on hand. And for those of you that don't really know what it is, Cloud Booster, all it is is just straight 100% VG. It doesn't have any flavoring to it. It has a slight sweetness just because it's a thick syrupy liquid, but it doesn't have a specific flavor. Some people use it just to vape on, so they have clouds to vape, but they don't want anything too heavy on flavor. Some people use it to cut nicotine, as I used it for this instant. Um, and some people use it just because a flavor might just be a little stronger than what they're prepared for. Um, so they try to cut it a little bit to see if that they can handle it. Now, what I went ahead and did was I added some uh, Cloud Booster to uh, some of these juices just to try them to see if, I, as long as I could just kind of cut the nicotine so I didn't get such a nicotine high off of it, so to speak, um, so that I can enjoy the flavor on that. And it worked to a, to a point. The downside to it is if you use Cloud Booster in a... A juice, whether it's to cut the nicotine, whether it's to cut, um, you know, the severity of the flavor of the sweetness or anything like that, it does, in fact, does change the taste of it to a point. Now, it does not take it completely out of the picture, um, but it does make it a little bit more milder than it would normally be at a regular bottling um, with if you didn't end up messing with it. So again, for Eminem Moonshine, I do very much apologize for that. That was completely my mistake. Um, and I should have thought a little bit more about that as well. Now, they do they do offer uh, seven flavors um, in this line, and they all are pretty much solid dead on uh, flavors. You know, there there is no loss in them. There is no there isn't a, a lack of flavor by any means. And at a ninety ten, you know the clouds are going to be there. Anybody who has vaped just anything over a 7030 you know how much of a difference going up in vg makes in the cloud production so at a 90 10 um, that's almost max vg you're looking you're going to be seeing some, and getting some heavy dense clouds out of this juice and it is definitely worth it um 
The flavors that they do offer in this line is uh, straw brulee, which is a creamy custard with a full body strawberry on the exhale. Um, apple, uh, purple dragon, which as I stated before, is a, a sweet and tart, bright, uh, light grape with a bubbly fruit blend. Um, I apologize about my hand. Uh, Nightcap is a tart berry brandy. Um, it blends with a perfect, you know, all together so that you get a basically an all day vape that you can vape uh, during the day and it gives you that smoothness for an all day vape or you can vape it at night and it's just a nice way to end the day to where you can just relax. Um, the Don, which is basically just a full on solid peach flavor, uh, which is not super sweet. Um, if you've ever bitten into a ripe uh, peach, you get that that burst of uh, juiciness right up front, but then it mellows out, but you enjoy that flavor all the way through. Um, the Don is pretty much a perfect example of that. Um, Costello's Downfall, which is a blend of white chocolate and New York cheesecake. So if you've ever had plain cheesecake without a specific topping and then drizzle some chocolate on it, almost dead on. I mean, I'm a big fan of cheesecake, so um, I was excited to try that one, and I was happy to see that it is pretty much an almost dead on, you know, chocolate drizzled cheesecake. Uh, Cloud B, which is a banana cream custard. Uh, that one, I absolutely, um, I will say, is my favorite overall out of out of the line. Um, just because I'm a heavy custard fan, so I like the, the thick, creamy uh, flavor of that. It has a strong enough banana taste that you do get it. You will taste it but it is not overpowering and it does not take over the vape. You still get the creamy custard um, throughout the vape as well. So I would say that would be my choice for doing an all day vape um, throughout. Now, however, my favorite flavor out of the whole line is going to be Cereal Boss. And basically the way they say this is it's a spoonful of milk and the love child of crunch berries and fruit loops so basically if the two of them combined and they just mashed all into one one flavor that's what this would be and i will be dead on with you they got it um you know the, on the inhale and as it's basically uh overtaking your taste buds you definitely get the crunch berry taste of that exhale is pretty much all fruit loops so i will say you know for strength of flavor and overall f uh, flavorful uh, juice that would probably be my favorite out of this line but as far as my go-to choice if I had to pick one specifically to use as my all-day vape I would definitely go with the cloud B now the cereal boss excuse me happened to be the one that I was enjoying at the moment so that's what this is and I apologize unfortunately and you know I didn't record myself actually mixing the two but it is cereal boss with uh, cloud uh, cloud booster put into it just so that um, I could cut down on the nicotine and still be able to vape it at a comfortable level. So let me go ahead and drip some of this in. And you can, even with the cloud boost here, I mean, you still get the thickness of this as well. So it's definitely there. And as always, I am vaping on 60 watts. Definite, 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 badass, thick, thick clouds. See, that's when it's nice and thick is when it can cloud up the camera for a few seconds and you can't see anything. Um, Flavor-wise, it is what it is. You know, it's a very solid on-point cereal flavor. You get the taste of both but it's not overly sugary tasting. It's not overly sweet tasting. Um, neither one cancels each other out. It is a very nice mix into, and it blends uh, pretty well as that. Overall, I mean, on point wise, all these flavors are solid. You know, it's a thick juice, so you're definitely gonna get the solid clouds as you just saw, but you're also gonna get the flavor production out of this that you know is amazing you know it definitely hits your taste buds um, up front it follows all the way through I know I've said it about a lot of other lines if you've watched my videos if you subscribe if you follow me um, but I, I am keep I keep getting surprised on a regular basis by all these companies that have given me the honor and privilege of trying their juice lines when they talk of an all-day vape this is instantly going to be one of the ones that I that I'm going to mention off the top of my head right now up to this point I can think of five or six that instantly jump out at me this instantly has 
jumped right into that group. There's nothing about this line, like I said, I should have ordered, I should have gotten the, the two milligram nicotine, um, because then I guarantee you I probably would be wiping through this um, a lot quicker. The flavor production off this juice is amazing. The cloud production is fantastic. Um, there, yeah, honestly, I don't have anything on a negative note that I could put on this. The nicotine issue, that was my fault. That's not because of them. So it's not something that they did wrong. They just went off of what I asked for. So that's completely on me. Beyond that, I have no... I can't say anything negative about this line. Um, all of the flavors are on point. I mean, dead on point. Um, there is a nice enough variety between them. You know, they have the dessert flavors with the cheesecake and the custard. You know, they have the standard flavors, as I start to call them as like the cereal and the peach. You know, those are starting to become really, really common. You know, and then they have the purple dragon, which is the sweet tart berry. You know, and that's that's a little different. You know, the nightcap for a, a smoother, um, a smoother brandy type vape. You know, that's unique in its own right because not many people delve into that that field as well. So I mean, it is a really nice, uh, wide option choices without having to have you know 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 flavor options to try to stretch out to that. They also offer the four nick levels and two bottle sizes, you know, a 30 mil and a 120 mil. So you're not getting, uh, you know, tiny bottles. You're not getting lack of juice, which, you know, definitely nowadays, since not, not all of us can go out and buy, you know, a 15 mil bottle every couple of days. I mean, the whole point of this is to be able to conserve and stretch, st make stuff last so that you feel like the investment was more worth it. Um, however, a 30 mil bottle and a 120 mil bottle, I mean, that either one of them is abundant. Any one of these flavors would definitely cover uh, an all-day vape need. Um, like I said, clouds, 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 clouds. If you're a trick artist, if you're a cloud a cloud co uh, competitor, it's definitely a good a good brand to practice with. Um, I know in most competitions they have their own specific uh, juice that they use, but this would definitely not hurt to use for practice thick clouds great flavor um, just an overall enjoyable um, vape you know definitely definitely a top choice for for an all-day uh, vape just in general um, but you know enough about that I, I, I can't go on enough about this line it was definitely um, a very enjoyable discovery. Um, I am grateful to Eminem Moonshine uh, for allowing me the privilege for this. I am so impressed with this line. I definitely am going to be recommending this to a few people and some shops. Again, if your shop does not have them, definitely have them hit them up. You know, f try to uh, try to uh, have them reach out to them for some samples for the shop. You know, if you are able to order some for yourself, even if you want to order some for yourself and have you know a shop near you try it you're not going to be disappointed with it i mean everything about this line is is worth it so it's definitely worth the investment it's definitely worth the trial it's definitely worth the, the taste uh the testing of it um but you can reach out to them as i said on facebook um they're on instagram as well it's m, &M moonshine their website is vapeeasy.com there is a hyphen between vape and easy definitely check them out as always i'm token vaping token vaping at gmail.com I'm on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. Subscribe, follow, like, hit me up. Any emails, any questions, any curiosities, anything that you guys want to know out there, definitely hit me up for it. I will do everything I can to find out what I can to help further the vaping community as a whole, to help promote safe vaping, to help promote a better alternative to just any type of vice. This this is something I, I strongly believe and support in. So again, Eminem Moonshine, thank you guys very much. Vaping community, have a good night. Vape on, vape strong, guys.